So today we're going to talk about. Ready? So we're going to talk about my FX6 camera rig, and I'm going to break it down in less than five minutes. Let's set the timer. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so this is my Sony FX6 right here, and I'm just going to break down some of the basics that I have of this camera. First thing, talk about the battery. I might not be able to pronounce all these names right or be able to tell you exactly what all the brands are in this, but hopefully I can. So this is my battery. I use the M series, this nano, what is it? The nano battery. I have about five of these and they've been fantastic. Um, they last very long and that's why I like them. And they're kind of small. I use for my SD cards, just the pro grade 256 gig card. Now there's the Sony fast cards, which a lot of people use, but there's not many of the 256 gig versions of that. The, uh, there's not too, there's not many of the 200, there's not many of the 256 gig versions of that. And this is just way cheap, like way cheaper. So that's why I get this. So next thing right here, we got the audio, got a boom microphone that, for this guy, this is my favorite microphone. We'll talk about this in just a bit. This is the Sheps 5U, right here, baby. This is a great microphone for run and gun documentary style. It's very directional, and it's also a fantastic microphone for interviews, and I do a lot of interviews, so that's why I like it. We got a little shorty XLR cable that didn't come with the camera, it came, I just bought it separately, that I plug in here to make it really compact and tight. But again, this is just a fantastic boom microphone. It is kind of pricey, but that's why it's good. All right, we're out of time. All right. And then this, if you were to just put this on the Sony FX6, it's just not going, it's gonna move a lot, around a lot. So I have this like little, I don't even know what you'd call this. It's almost like a boom holder for the Sony FX6, or probably you could say Sony FS7. And you can find these on Amazon to where whenever you place them here on this little device, it doesn't move the mic around and it's nice and stable, which is a big deal because it'll move. And then I have a dead cat. This is something I just put by Ryko that goes right on the front here. Why do I have this? It protects any noise happening from out, outside from the wind. So it just makes it to where if there's any ruffles from the audio from the wind, it protects it from that. One of the biggest things about this camera is something that I'm not gonna show right now. So thank you for watching this video if you're still watching. The next thing I have is, I have the Atomos Ninja V with this normal old Atomos battery. Atomos Ninja V with the small rig cage that goes around this Atos Ninja V. I love this monitor, fantastic. Colors are accurate, that's why I have it. And it's a great size. This cage is really nice to have and it helps a lot. I have 90 seconds. And then I have these small rig little monitor holder. This is by far the best monitor holder I've used. Small rig just makes good stuff. And this, it actually has, you don't have to have an Allen wrench to move things and it's perfect. I also use, man, I'm, this is sponsored by Small Rigs. I wish it was. I also use Small Rigs HDMI cable, their little short HDMI cable. I've used many HDMI cables and they always break and these, and these just don't break, so I love them. And then one of the most important things that I have on this camera is first off, the Tilta cage protects the camera, makes it look cool. So I have my, my base plate already here. I have 45 seconds. I have some uh, rails for if I were to put a, anything on this guy, like a follow focus. But lastly, I'm saving the best thing for last and that you need to get if you have a Sony FX6. And it's this Nicey Rig monitor holder. It's this guy right here. Nicey Rig made a holder basically so that you can put your monitor on your Sony FX6, this guy right here. You just put the hot shoe, has a hot shoe, 
you can put your monitor on here. The only other way that you can really mount a monitor I have 14 seconds is by using this and you'll break it. You really will break it or just having this wonky thing coming off the side and that's how you do it. But this is in, in a very fast way my Sony FX6 rig and this is really important to me. That was kind of hard. It's a lot of stuff about this camera. But thank you so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Like this video. Comment if you want more information about anything that's on this camera rig. I will do my best to put any links for the things that we've talked about down below. I especially will have a link to this nicely rig set up here because it's fantastic. So thank you again.